So with the idea of keeping this video as generic as possible, I've simply mounted our most popular pump, the D252 two-piston pump in a vise. It does not matter if you have one of our larger pumps, the three-piston. Um, the only differences being as far as flushing and winterizing go, the sizes of hoses will be a little larger and your input shaft will be one inch as opposed to the three-quarter on this pump. If you have a grain drill, a planter, an applicator, it does not matter as long as it is a high pro piston pump, this video applies. If you have bought a grain drill from us, a complete fertilizer kit, you would have received a five piece flush and winterize kit. Comes with two hoses and three black plastic fittings. So the first thing you want to do is remove the suction hose. On this is three quarter. It will be the larger of the two hoses going to the pump. This one comes from your tank and in line with it will be two clear bowl filters. So remove this, rinse out your tank with water, let it drain down to the ground through here and I would also recommend uh, taking off the filter bowls, flushing out the filters and all that and then when you're done of course put the filters back on to keep clean. Now in the place of this hose that you've just taken off you'll want the three-quarter clear line and put the three-quarter barb in it. Put them on the suction barb on the pump and tighten the clamp. Then you'll want to get a water hose and put the water hose adapter on. And spin that on to the other end of the line. So you'll push water through the pump. The pressure line still installed. Remove the chain off the sprocket and spin the pump over by hand just a little bit in order to work the check valves. You want those to do a little bit of movement so that the uh, any sediment in the seats will be moved, will be flushed out as well. Now water is going to push through the pressure side of the system. Clean out the filter bowls on the pressure side if you have a grain drill which are the black ones. Clean out the manifolds all across the back or if you have a planter, clean out the Wilger monitors and clean clear water should come out every drop line along the back of the machine. Once you're satisfied that you have clean water coming out every row, you can turn the water off and remove the water hose from the bottom. Then loosen your pressure line at the pump, remove it and hold on to the clamp. Hold this in one hand and get a blow gun in the other and blow just a little bit of air, slowly sneak up on it, 30, 40, 50 pounds and blow that water that is in the manifolds out down to the ground through the drop tubes. If you are in a place that freezes over the winter you will want to do this if your machine sits in cold storage because that water will freeze inside those manifolds and can split it open. After you've done that I would remove the black bowl filters if you have a grain drill, flush those out good and replace them. I would also take your half inch line, your three quarter line, 
at the pump, slide the two together, shove a good couple inches, one inside the other, and you can even clamp or zip tie that to keep dirt and insects from getting inside the lines. Now you have a pump that still has water sitting in it, but it should look like this. Take RV antifreeze, the pink stuff, and fill this line. Grab the sprocket by hand and twist. You can see the level going down. And pretty soon, pretty soon it will come out the pressure side and shoot you in the hand. That'll have drained this line as you can see. So we want to top it off again. Just like that. Now you take the half inch line with the half inch fitting. Connect the two in the center. The clamp, put it on the pressure side, and tighten it down. Now this is what we call a flushed and winterized pump. This will be ready for you next season. You will never have a problem with this. We also have available what we call drill drivers. They are available in three quarter and one inch sizes. You chuck them up in a half inch drill. You need a little bit of the key on the keyway sticking out past the sprocket and you can connect to that and spin your pump with your drill. That lets you build up as much pressure as you do pulling your machine through the field, a good 30 pounds. They are great for uh, doing this, also for uh, testing for leaks, diagnosing for leaks I should say, um, having assistant spin the pump while you walk along the back of your machine. Uh, if you have a plugging problem on an orifice in a check valve, whatever, um, those make it real handy to diagnose that. I should also mention, since I'm here, non-detergent 30 oil, just like you would use normally in an air compressor. Keep the sight glass full. You want it clean. And we do offer a rebuild service. If you want to flush this out with water, send us your pump. We rebuild them, test them, winterize them, send them back to you. Any more questions or you need parts, feel free to call us.